Hi, I'm Golf Magazine Top 100 Instructor Tom Stickney. Today I want to talk to you about balance. Now, a lot of times people will say, well, I hit my short irons pretty decent, you know, but then I come into here and I grab something a little bit longer and I really hit it a lot worse. Well, what happens is when you have poor balance with a short club, you can only move a certain amount because the club is so short it doesn't yank on your body with inertia and momentum and all that kind of good stuff. When you have a longer club, the club has longer time, more inertia, more momentum, it's going to yank you around a lot more. So remember, if you have balance issues in a short iron, by the time you get up to the driver, you know, it's going to be manifested a whole lot more and it's going to be a whole lot worse. So work on your balance issues and make sure that your short irons are under control. And if you have good short iron control and balance, as such, you want to make sure that when you hit those longer clubs, you have that same type of balance. Because if you have a swing flaw, if you have a faulty swing flaw in your short irons, it's going to work its way up to the driver and it's going to be really difficult for you to hit good shots. So remember, when you have balance issues, it's only going to get worse as the clubs get longer. Solid balance on a 7-iron, mm -hmm. solid balance on a 3-wood, solid balance on a driver, and you're going to be in good shape.